Hello and welcome to Gaming News. First up on Gaming News today is that Planetside 2 has announced that they will not be going down the play to win model uh, for Planetside 2, which is free to play. Um, it's still in beta at the moment as far as I know, but it's not going towards um, the pay to win side of things where you pay money to get better guns than everyone else. It's all based on free to play, so it would be stuff like skins and um, basically unlocking weapons that anyone else can get through the game. So that is great. I love it when uh, people go that route. It's the only real route for free to play as far as I'm concerned because um, otherwise it's not free to play. It's you have to pay to actually be able to be competitive with everyone else. Second up, Valve is making hardware. It's apparently going to be going into beta next year. Um, this sounds great to me. Like, So there's going to be basically a Valve console that will you'll be able to run uh, the new version of Valve they're talking about um, where you'll be able to have any game that's on the PC at the moment onto a console and then have it in your living room. So that's great. Um, I'm still a bit skeptical which way this is going to go. Is it going to end up where they um, harshly restrict everything like Xbox and PS3 and Nintendo or is it going to stay like Steam is currently where it's got stuff like mods and um, patches don't cost uh, the developer anything like that. Um, I'm really you know, I really want to know what, ha what which way it's going to go, but I guess only time will tell, and so we're going to have to wait. Okay, so third up is two pieces of Bioware news, which sounds crazy to me. I'm one of those people that's like, well, you know, does it really need to think? But they're kind of different. First up, the two original people that was in Bioware, the people who, like, basically are the heads of the company, have left. They've just up and left. So if you ever liked any of the business decisions that they had to make or whatever, it's gone. Um, and uh, the next up is that they've announced a new Mass Effect game because e EA actually owns um, Bioware so you know they left like they made it originally and then got bought out by EA um, and e so EA owns Bioware and owns Mass Effect series and so on the Mass Effect series they've announced a DLC for the current Mass Effect which I think is fair enough but then the Mass Effect 3 the one that's out at the moment is meant to be the last one but they've announced another one it's meant to be in the same series, like in so it's in the Mass Effect world or whatever, right? So the you know all of the fights gone. So what the hell are they gonna base it on? Because you know, I mean, like th it makes no sense to me. I'm ah, it's annoying as hell, right? Because they they said it's a trilogy, it's gonna go to number three and that'll be it. But obviously they think they can get more money out of it, and that's why they're doing this. But Jesus Christ, is that annoying for anyone that's like, oh, you know, I finished the story. It's like watching. Um, it's like watching all of the Harry Potters and then and then at the end it's like actually we're just gonna add in more Harry Potters and it's like I wouldn't mind it in a sense because it's filmed but it's video games and like they I'm I don't know like why would you say that it's a trilogy if it's not gonna be a trilogy just don't say anything about that and decide the numbers afterwards okay so here's a really bit weird bit of news um, but they've done it continually every time they've released a console PlayStation is has announced Another PS3 console, a slimmed down version. They did this on the PS1 and the PS2. Uh, they had slimmer versions of the original console with the same hardware in it. So that's what they've done. Um, but everyone's like, we wanted to see PS4. And it's like, but they're they're obviously planning for at least another year or two cycle, at least. Because uh, they obviously want to sell this new console. But they are right in thinking there's a lot of benefits. Because there's a big catalogue of games for the PS3 that you can go and buy. And it, you know, it's been around for like jillions of years now, PS3 and Xbox 360. So they've released this new console. It's like cheaper than the, all the other ones as, when they come out as new. And, you know, you've got a massive catalogue of games and you could just sit there and buy like 20, you know, um, all in one go for pretty cheap. And they'll all be pretty good, you know, alright games. And then you've got like all that saved up. So if you don't want to go and buy the new PS4, you can just buy this older version and just have like a big stack of games. Um, where they will be cheaper as soon as the PS4 okay, comes out. Okay, that's down. it for all for today's gaming news. I will see you again soon. Goodbye!